going on, please? So I don't just go after CEOs and other YouTubers. I go after degenerate a-holes that are trying to rip you off as well. <gasps> Meet Morgan. You ever heard of OfferUp, the Craigslist competitor here in America and Canada where you can buy and sell crap? Well, OfferUp is one, the, the place, the one time that I have ever been scammed in my life and bought in fake Pokemon cards was on OfferUp about a year and a half ago. And it is also where Morgan here, let's take a look at Morgan. Ultra rare Pokemon collection, Charizard GX. $200. 40 plus ultra rare Pokemon cards, including a very rare Rainbow Charizard GX card. None of the cards are graded. No shit, Sherlock. However, the overall condition is good. These will not last. All cards need to be sold as set. <laughs> You serious? Okay, so even a five-year-old, a five-year-old, a seven-year-old could tell that this Burning Shadows Charizard is very fake. And when we go here and we look through all these photos here, basically what I see is nothing but X and Y or Sun and Moon era fakes. Except, however, there is a uh, Adventures Discovery from Lost Origin and a Lost Origin Aerodactyl V-Star. So it looks like everything on this on this table is very, very fake Pokemon cards and then a couple Lost Origin hits. But two hundred dollars. Now, I don't know about you you guys, but when a card has zero texture and it's shaped like a taco, it's probably fake. So <laughs> So here's the thing. Here's the reason Morgan is getting roasted. So, I, I sent Morgan here a little message, you know, I gave him a chance, okay? I gave him a chance. So I let him know, I say, hey, how did you end up owning so many obviously fake Pokemon cards? It's actually impressive how obviously fake they are. Are you just really ignorant or a scammer? Now, on offer up, just like on a lot of apps, when someone reads, it says, seen. So this guy now, knows that someone has told him his cards are fake. What the hell are you doing, man? This listing, this is, this is like three days ago when I first saw this. This listing is still up. A day later, I notice he's seen my message. I then say, you read this comment, but, but didn't respond, so I can only assume you're intentionally scamming. I make content online exposing people who do this, so thanks ahead of time. Scammer boy. So Morgan, you're an a-hole. You're an idiot. I gave you a chance. You are a brazen scammer. It's game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Offer up is a breeding ground for fake Pokemon cards. If anybody recognizes this dude in the Phoenix area, let him know that I would like to have a conversation with him, and not a one-sided one. All right? Okay. So, I mean, let me let me show you real quick the one time that I have been scammed. And I, I, I paid like 100 or 150 and, you know, let, let's, let's take a look real quick. Alright, so the offer up listing, it was like a year and a half ago, I think. And I think the listing was for, a, it was either 100 or $150. I really hope I only paid 100 uh, since now I know most of the good cards were completely fake. But, I mean, you could say I paid a, overpaid for a Dragon Majesty Ultra Premium Collection box. All right, let's see if I can open this. So, yeah. So, Dragon Majesty collection box. And the guy comes up to my truck and he's like, yeah, everything's in the box, blah, blah, blah. All the good cards are in there, are in those boxes. And he starts talking to me forever. And anyway, so I, I was like, you know what, here, just take the money, leave me alone. And I left and, and yeah, so. All the fake cards were in here, and all of these, first of all, I got all the, uh, <laughs> the dividers for all three boxes. So I got dividers, I got the nice, the nice box for sure, 
And then all of this is just full of bulk, bulk, bulk from like black and white all the way to I think Hidden Fates was the most recent. But while I was looking through all of this and figuring out that pretty much everything in here was fake, and then this is all just trash bulk, I did find in this box, and then somewhere amongst, you know, in a different box, these absolute beauties. Texture, color, everything is correct. Hey! So I found those guys. If you look at the texture, there should be, yeah, 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 you can see it. And look above Garchomp right there. There should be some waves. But yeah, so there's some nice looking team up cards. And then in the boxes, I did find at least some nice hollow, reverse hollows. So basically I paid $150 for a ton of fake Pokemon cards, a handful of decent mid-modern hollows and reverse hollows, and two, uh, what is that, like a $10, $15 card and a $20 card or something like that. So yeah, and I got this nice box. <laughs> so unfortunately I happen to have one of the greatest collections of fake Pokemon cards ever. And again, it's from one offer up purchase from about a year and a half ago. And look, these cards, let's go over every little scenario, every little thing that you can tell if a card is fake or not. One, is there texture or not? Is it a card that's supposed to have texture and does it or does it not have texture? How does the color on the surface of the card reflect when you shine it in light? What do the borders look like? Here's a big one. The fine print, the font, the illustrator's name, the date, all those stuff at the very bottom of the card. Usually with fake cards, that stuff translates horribly. And you can clearly, clearly tell on smaller print, on smaller font, those cards, that's the dead giveaway. The backs of the cards are exceptionally off color most commonly. And the card stock that is used is like damage resistant. Like I literally can't destroy these. I mean, okay, look, we'll go ahead and destroy a card, but I'm gonna show you how incredibly difficult it is to destroy the cards. It's, it's really quite obvious once you hold the card, flip it around, move it around. You're like, what the hell is this? It's made of plastic, but yeah. Pokemon card, fake card scammers, they're still out there. Um, Offer up is a place you really need to double check what you're buying. If it looks too good to be true, it absolutely probably is. But Morgan, go fuck yourself. And shoved it right up your asshole. That's what I did. Now, I'm going to leave you with the one and only time Danny Phantom has ever read, shown, spoken profanity on his channel. This guy, I woke up yesterday to a message from Danny Phantom, and it said, bro, you want a, a next Destiny's pack? Should I open it? And if you want to see uh, what he pulled for me, uh, stay tuned. But until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces. Oh, can I put this on? Open, open that up. Can you shout out my YouTube? <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say the words, but I guess I can... Mimipru wants it open. <laughs> okay. Also, shout out to Mimipru. Check him out on YouTube. There you go. <laughs> open it up. He said open open that up. That would have been late night thing. Alright. We're opening up the next Destiny's pack. Are you ready? Make sure you check out Mimicrew on YouTube. M I M I C B R E W. Rip it. M I M I K B R E W. I saw his words. There you go. See? He said open it. Shinx, Vanillite, Fungus, Blitzel, Meow. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Level Ball is not bad. Oh, gross. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 A muck. Oh.
unlock. Alright. 